Hello, hi, and welcome to this episode of the Mandy Mayer podcast. As per usual, this is the podcast where we chat all about your health, your goals, your fitness, your healthy habits, your healthy habit creation, and helping you just reach those goals that you have set for yourself. In today's episode, I want to chat about going off track for the lack of better words. Not even going off track, but let's say, for example, you lose a little bit of momentum or you lose a little bit of consistency. Maybe you've been sick, maybe you've been injured, maybe you've been away on holiday, and just maybe, just maybe you don't have that momentum going. And now all of a sudden to get back into it, but maybe it's like a game of hit and miss at the moment. Maybe some days you smash those non-negotiables and maybe some days it's just just not happening. Maybe some days you're just not smashing those non-negotiables because like I said, you have you don't have that consistency or that power of momentum going. Now, how are you going to get back on track for the lack of better words? I don't like that word because oftentimes it's just thrown around so loosely. Like maybe you have one chocolate, you're like, oh, I've gone off track. No, 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 that's not going off track at all. That's just, you know, having a chocolate. But let's just say, for example, you really have lost that momentum and you've lost that consistency for whatever reason it is, okay? For whatever reason it has taken place, how do you get back on track? How do you get that momentum going again? How do you get that consistency going again when you are working on your healthier habits? Well, really, the short answer to this is focus on the basics. Oftentimes what happens is when you break that consistency, like I said, maybe you've been sick, maybe you've been injured, now you've broken that consistency, you've broken that power of momentum, okay? Oftentimes what happens is you want to start off where you left at, right? So where you broke that consistency, that's where you want to start again. And oftentimes that is not advisable. The reason for that is because those goals might just be out of reach when you're starting again. And if those goals or those targets or those daily non-negotiables are out of reach, you're not going to be ticking those boxes. You're not going to be executing them because they're really they're out of reach, right? And what happens then? When you're not ticking those boxes and you're not doing something, you lose motivation. And when you lose motivation, it becomes very difficult to action things. It becomes very difficult to execute these things. And that's why one day you'll hit it, one day you'll miss it. And it just becomes that very vicious cycle of inconsistency, okay? So ideally what you want to do is be okay with the fact that maybe you have gone off track, okay? So identify why it has happened. Identify why you have lost that consistency. Identify why you have lost that power of momentum. And then work on an action plan that involves the basics only the basics. Like you want to be able to achieve things. You want to be able to tick those boxes. You want to be able to do that so that you can continue creating that consistency. But, and this is a big but, you have to gear your mindset up towards going back to the basics. Because a lot of the times people will be like, oh, I'm not going back to the basics because I was at point F or point Z or whatever it was before I broke that momentum. And that's oftentimes where you want to start off at when you get back into it, which can be quite detrimental because maybe you're not at that point anymore. Now you're trying to tackle way too much. Now you're trying to tackle things that are maybe out of your reach. And it could very well be very overwhelming for yourself. And if you look at it, you're like, oh, that's just way too much. I can't do that. And immediately you start talking yourself out of it. Okay. So you need to prep that mindset of, I'm going to start back at the basics. You are going to start back at the basics. The beauty of starting back at the basics, once you've been on this expedition already, is that it will come back to you so quickly, right? Because you've already created those habits. You've already laid that foundation. Okay. Okay. All you've done is maybe, maybe just broken that consistency a little bit or just broken that power of momentum a little bit. But as soon as you start smashing those basics again, all of a sudden that's going to drive your motivation. When your motivation levels are high, that's going to see you wanting to do more. And before you know it, you'll be back at where you were, right? But you have to be okay with starting at the basics and building on them as you move forward again. Take myself for an example. I've been injured for several months. Like I have not seen the inside of a gym for a very long period of time. 
okay? Now, this is me being very honest and open and transparent with you guys because I want you to know that, you know, even someone like myself that has solidified these habits and that was exceptionally, exceptionally active, even me, I go back to the basics and I create small, manageable, little daily non-negotiables for myself so that I can start creating that consistency again. Before I proceed with this episode, like I don't know what the fuck is going on in this complex, but there's a lot of noises from one of these apartments and <laughs> it's if it's carrying through to the episode, I do apologize. It's throwing my mind all over the place as well because it's literally banging and it sounds like tools are being thrown all over the place. I also didn't sleep a wink last night because there was doors opening and closing, okay? So <laughs> if I am a little bit off on this episode, that is exactly why. And honestly, I don't have a different time slot to record this episode. It has to get done now and unfortunately now is when the noises are just going fucking apeshit crazy. You see, sometimes, even sometimes, even me, I lose my sense of humor because that's pretty much where I'm at right now. But anyway, we digress. So I do even go back to the basics. Like I go back to the basics. Right now, my goal isn't to go to the gym for an hour every second day of the week. That is way too overwhelming for me right now because I haven't seen the inside of a gym for a very long period of time. So what I've actually done is from the beginning of this week, I printed myself a consistency calendar, a 30-day calendar, and I put up a non-negotiable for myself 10 to 20 minutes every single day of a home workout. Doesn't matter what workout it is, whether it's something from YouTube, whether it's with my five kilogram weights over here, whatever it is, every single day for 30 days, I'm going to be doing a 10 to 20 minute workout. Now, immediately, that seems so much more doable for me because like I said, I haven't done it for a long period of time. And for a lot of people, that might not seem like a lot because a lot of people would wanna start off from where they left at, right? And I'm like, it's, it's, it's impossible for me to do that because it's just so overwhelming. And I just know if I set myself a goal of going to the gym three times a week for an hour every single day, I'm probably not gonna do it. Because again, like I said, I don't yet have that momentum back in me, right? If that makes any sense. So my goal right now is to do this for 30 days, do the basics for 30 days and create momentum over a month. And then once I've got that momentum, then I'll tweak that non-negotiable of maybe going to the gym three times a week at 45 minutes per session or hour per session, right? But again, I know that I have to create that power of momentum. I have to create that consistency. And how am I going to do that? I'm going to do that by making my daily non-negotiables achievable, okay? So yes, there is still a challenge. It is still challenging, right? But it is far more achievable than setting something that is exceptionally overwhelming because I know if I get overwhelmed, I just don't do anything, okay? So again, like I said, if you have lost momentum or if you have broken that level of consistency, don't be scared to start back at the basics because like I said, once you get into those basics and you get into the swing of things, that's where that momentum is going to come back, right? And that's where you say, cool, let's tweak those daily non-negotiables. Even if you're struggling to tackle three or four daily non-negotiables every single day when you're trying to get back on track, focus on one daily non-negotiable. Create consistency within that. Break it down to a goal that doesn't overwhelm you. Yes, a little bit of a challenge to do it, but you have to be able to do it because you have to be able to do it so that you can tick that box off. And once you tick that box off, that's you creating consistency. I know I always say this, but I will keep saying it. Don't ever, ever overlook the power of the small things, your small little actions that you execute every single day. In that moment, they might seem exceptionally minuscule, but it's those things that add up right? The more you execute the small little things, the more they add up. Whether that's adding up to your consistency, whether that's adding up to your power of momentum, whether that is adding up to your progress for that matter as well, every small little thing that you do, it's going to add up and it's going to lead to massive, massive things. It's going to lead to, I want to say, massive changes. The problem is people don't think that the small things count. People always want to do something drastic, but 
But to get back into things, to get back into the swing of things, you have to be willing to start small. You have to be willing to focus on the basics and create the momentum with the basics again. I will end this episode off by saying my humble apologies for the episode that was all over the show. Like I said, I did not sleep last night. If I got three hours sleep, it was a lot. And I'm still dealing with something that sounds like a bath being chopped away from somewhere, somewhere around me. On that note, I'm going to love and leave you guys like I usually do. Keep smiling, keep laughing, and always keep being kind to one another. Much love, your very tired friend, Mandy. <laughs>